All right, thank you, Erica. Three Harvey men survived just a wild night in the water off the coast of Plaquemines Parish. You're not going to believe this story. A shark attacked one of the men as their boat took on water 25 miles offshore. Paul Murphy spoke with one of the survivors, joining us live right now in Empire with the interview that you only see here on Channel 4. Paul. Cherise, we are at the Delta Marina in Empire where the men launched their boat Saturday morning, early Saturday morning. They were supposed to be taking a relaxing fishing trip to the Gulf among three friends, but it turned out to be anything but, and the men are lucky to be alive tonight. Video from Delta Marina in Empire shows three men loading their boat at the dock early Saturday morning. Fong Lee, Sun Win, and Lun Win from Harvey were heading out to the Gulf of Mexico to catch Red Snapper. Lun Win said at some point they started having engine problems. They were about 25 miles offshore. No, I started taking it on water, trying to make it back in, and went under. So we tried to make it back in, it was too choppy, so we, you know, the boat, it just took on too much water, so it just sank. Wynn shared video of himself in the water in rough seas, wearing a bright orange life vest hanging onto an ice chest. He said all of a sudden, a large shark attacked him. The head part was in front of me, and a shark just, I don't know where, picked the vest. I tried to push the, push the shark, it didn't. I tried to push his nose, didn't do anything. So I stuck, took both my thumbs and jabbed him in the, in the eyes. And then took off. Video shot from a Coast Guard rescue helicopter showed Wynn on the sinking vessel fending off the shark. It's in my vest, but I got, it caught my hands too, to my fingers. Delta Marina owner Mitch Jerisich says it's been a particularly bad year for sharks, especially in that part of the Gulf. Our fishermen come in and complaining all the time about not being able to bring their limit of red snapper home or other snapper or other species because the sharks are eating pretty much everything they catch. The fishermen were reported missing early Sunday when they didn't make it back to the marina. According to the Coast Guard, boats and helicopters searched an area roughly the size of Rhode Island to find Wynn and his friends. They were rescued and flown to University Medical Center where the men were treated for minor injuries. Wynn says he does not expect to be back on the water anytime soon. Just a bit. As far as my offshore fishing career is over. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame him with that one. And Wynn tells us that he and his friends were in the water for about 28 hours before they were rescued. He says they all had hyperthermic conditions when they uh, were brought to UMC for treatment. And uh, tonight we are happy to report they're all doing just fine. In Empire, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. That is